House Joint Resolution 1012 by Representative Stevens and Senator Shuffled concerning the designation of a portion of State Highway 105 as Medal of Honor Master Sergeant William J. Crawford Highway. Senator Shuffle. Thank you, Mr. President and members. I appreciate your patience. I would move uh, House Joint Resolution 1012 and uh, ask that it be read at length. Mr. McGowan. House Joint Resolution 1012 by Representative Stevens and Senator Shuffle. Concerning the designation of a portion of State Highway 105 as Medal of Honor Master Sergeant William J. Crawford Highway. Whereas William John Crawford was born in Pueblo, Colorado on May 19, 1918, graduating from Central High School in Pueblo in 1936 and joining the United States Army in 1942. And whereas on September 13, 1943, while serving in the 3rd Battalion, 142nd Infantry in Altaville, Italy, Master Sergeant Crawford was pinned down with his platoon by intense machine gun fire. He single-handedly advanced on multiple machine gun emplacements, destroying each, then used, Please then, continue. Then used the gun from the last emplacement to fire on retreating Germans. And whereas later that same day, Master Sergeant Crawford was captured by the Germans while aiding a friend who had been shot in the stomach. Master Sergeant Crawford was taken to Stalag II near Danzig, Germany, where he was held for 19 months, being liberated on April 13, 1945. And whereas while he was being held as a prisoner of war, the United States Army awarded Master Sergeant Crawford the Congressional Medal of Honor in absentia for his conduct on September 13, 1943. And whereas in addition to the Congressional Medal of Honor, Master Sergeant Crawford received the Bronze Star, the British Military Medal, and the Italian Cross of Valor. And whereas after his release as a prisoner of war, Master Sergeant Crawford left the United States Army in 1945, only to re-enlist in the United States Army in 1947, in which he served until November 30th, 1967, and which service included working as a re-enlistment counselor at Fort Carson. And whereas during his brief leave of absence from the United States Army in the 1940s, Master Sergeant Crawford married Eileen Bruce on January 13th, 1946, with whom he had a son, Daniel, and a daughter, Beverly. And whereas while working at the Air Force Academy in civil service following his discharge from the United States Army in 1967, it was discovered that Master Sergeant Crawford had been granted the Congressional Medal of Honor, but that the award had never been properly presented to him. And whereas in May 1984, President Ronald Reagan spoke at the Air Force Academy graduation and presented Master Sergeant Crawford the Congressional Medal of Honor. And whereas Master Sergeant Crawford was a member of the Congressional Medal of Honor Society of the United States, the Non-Commissioned Officers Association, Chapter 1 of the Retired Enlisted Association, Veterans of Foreign Wars Post 4051, American Ex-Prisoners of War, and the Association of the United States Army, and served as past director of the Lucretta Vale Museum in Palmer Lake, Colorado, and was active with Palmer Lake Historical Society. And whereas Master Sergeant William J. Crawford departed this life on March 15, 2000, at the age of 81. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the House of Representatives of the 68th General Assembly of the State of Colorado, the Senate concurring herein, that the portion of State Highway 105 from the intersection of State Highway 105 and County Line Road north of Palmer Lake to just east of the Monument Town Hall and Monument be renamed the Medal of Honor Master Sergeant William J. Crawford Highway that the Colorado Department of Transportation may accept and expend gifts, grants, donations, and federal funds for the purposes of the initial placement of signs to mark the designated portion of State Highway 105 as the Medal of Honor Master Sergeant William J. Crawford Highway and to erect a memorial plaque which shall include reference to his highest military award to be placed in an appropriate location. And that the Colorado Department of Transportation may explore a cooperative agreement with the Board of County Commissioners for El Paso County for the maintenance of the markings and the plaque for the Medal of Honor Master Sergeant William J. Crawford Highway. Be it fully resolved that copies of this joint resolution be sent to Beverly Crawford Kite, Jim Tackett of El Paso County Veteran Services, Commander Dwayne Knutson of the Veterans of Foreign Wars Post 4051, the Crawford Memorial Committee, the Colorado Transportation Commission, the Office of Transportation Safety in the Colorado Department of Transportation, Palmer Lake Mayor John Cressman, the Palmer Lake Town Council Monument Mayor Travis W. Easton, the Monument Board of Trustees, the Board of County Commissioners for El Paso County, and the Secretary of the United States Army, John McHugh. Senator Shuffle. Thank you, Mr. President and uh, colleagues. Thank you for taking a few moments to reflect on the memory of Master Sergeant Crawford to um, 
hear his story, what a remarkable story it is. He truly is um, an American hero, a member of uh, the greatest generation. And appropriate that we just take a few minutes this morning in the midst of our busy schedules and um, appropriately honor him in this way. A small token, uh, naming a portion of Highway 105 in his honor, um, but, but appropriate nevertheless. And I can't help but reflect, given the, the um, actions of this body today and the discussion that we've had, the tone it took and the way we've conducted ourselves today, that it's really um, a reflect on the memory of, of uh, Master Sergeant Crawford, and it's really his sacrifice that really makes this place possible. He died so that this process that we've experienced today and day to day that we experience, that it's furthered, that we sit here and that we discuss things. None of us take out arms. We don't get, we don't cross those lines and, and how appropriate that is. There are places in the world today where democracy is under attack, where people are trying to take down governments and bloodshed is, is, is being expended in the name of that. And that does not go on in this country. And, and what a privilege that is. And I think that's um, really uh, because of members of the greatest generation, because of folks like Master Sergeant Crawford and, uh, it's just appropriate that we, we honor him today, and we're doing that here. So I thank you um, for taking the time to do that. I thank you uh, for uh, uh, Representative Stevens in the House that, that uh, served as a co-sponsor with this. And I know colleagues that knew he and his family um, personally will make some comments. But um, I appreciate his taking the time to do this. And uh, certainly at the appropriate time, would ask for your I vote and for your um, sponsorship of this resolution. Again, appropriately, the honor of an American hero.